Hey guys, I also wanted to touch on two things, um, the Win Benyama sweepstake and also Doc Rivers being fired. So, um, so concerning Win Benyama, um, I'm pretty excited that he's going to the Spurs. I think, I think it's all in all in terms of all his options. I mean, I, I probably would prefer that he went to the Portland, uh, being the Pacific Northwest, the Blazers, but all things being considered, I think, you know, playing where Tim Duncan played and Park, Tony Parker played and Greg Popovich is a great coach, so and they have a lot of assets, a lot of young talent. So I think it's it's a great fit for a young player to grow, and so I think it's just going to be a great environment for Wayne Banyama. Um, you know, obviously I'm French, so I, I really hope he does well. You know, we've never had a, a player of his talent before. And the closest was Tony Parker, and he was you know a six three yard. Uh, you know, I mean, there's no comparison between. I mean, when Benyama, some people have said he's the best prospect of all time. I, I, don't, I don't agree with that, but um, it's definitely extremely exciting um, as a French citizen to, uh, to have a, a player representing us in the NBA like that. And, and I hope he's going to pan out. Um, and I'm happy, so, so I'm happy he went to the Spurs. I'm, I'm a little bit scared for him. I, uh, you know, it's, I, I, I commented on Instagram, and he's probably not going to read it, but I was like, man... Do whatever you got to do to stay healthy, man. Because, you know, if you got to, you know, like make some phone calls to Tom Brady, get help tips or whatever, or the TB12 method. I mean, I don't know what, I don't know, you know, whatever he does, like, uh, he's just got to find a way to stay healthy. Because, you know, when you're 7'5 with his slim um, frame, I don't know if there's any player in NBA history that, that has been durable uh, with that kind of frame, you know. Seven footers, there's been a lot, but seven foot five dudes. I mean, I'm thinking of George Murison, Sean Bradley. Um, you know, I think Ralph Sampson was another one. Um, there's just not that Yao Ming was, you know, obviously had foot issues, so it's uh, it's really hard to to find those type of guys and that they stay healthy. And his game too, you know, he's not even, you know, down low. He's he's a, he, he plays on the perimeter. So I just. Man, it's it's uh, I, he's awfully talented, but I just I don't know if it's going to be sustainable. So, you know, the bottom line is I just hope he stays healthy. I, I would say that his chances of staying healthy or uh, man, I, I feel like they're not good. Um, you know, fifty fifty, but um, maybe, um, but but I don't know. I mean, it, it's really hypothetical. We have no idea. So, but it, it's just um, it seems pretty scary to me. Uh, in terms of that, I have a lot of concerns regarding that. That, but those are kind of like my only concerns. The other one, he's gonna eat, you know, a lack of strength for his size, right? But, um, you know, we saw Kevin Durant, uh, you know, with that size, it doesn't really matter where he catches the ball. He's, you know, he, he'll be able to get it over anybody. So, it'll be interesting. Um, and then the the second news, you know, Doc Rivers being fired, um, and then today James Harden said he's opting out of his contract and. I mean, honestly, James Harden, I mean, I think he had two good games or three good games in that series, but he was off one game six, off one game seven, and Bede was terrible in game seven, not very good in game six. I mean, this series, I, I, I thought Philly, I thought Boston would win, but I, I thought Philly, you know, had the chance to win it, um, you know, if, if they played up to their potential, and I thought this might be Philly's year, but... Man, they just came so short in Game 6 and 7. I mean, in Game 7, they just totally got blown out. And, um, you know, they should have won that game at home in Game 6. And then, obviously, at Boston, it was going to be difficult. But they won Game 5 in Boston. So, um, I thought they had a chance. But, man, they, they just got destroyed. And, um, I mean, there's no doubt that the Doc Rivers is culpable. Uh, you know, he hasn't... You know, the Sixers are just not met expectations I think they should be championship contenders and they haven't met they haven't made a finals I don't even think they've made an Eastern Conference finals while well, Doc Rivers coached the past three years so and then the Ben Simmons debacle um yeah I think it's tough for Philly I think I think it's tough for Philly it's tough for Doc Rivers because it really felt like it was the year their year and and I honestly James Harden hopping out if anything I wish they could have re-signed him so that they could trade him so they could have gotten something. Um, but, you know, if you just want... But I I don't really want him back with Philly because 
you know, James Harden is a guy. He, he's one of those. I'm so critical of him. I'm so critical of James Harden. And but I was rooting for him to do well this year because I really want him to change the narrative in the playoffs. But he just continues to not be a good postseason player. I mean, he's just awful in the playoffs. You know, he's um, he, he's a, he's a really good regular season basketball player. But in the playoffs, he just always comes up short, and that's just that's just how it's been. And unfortunately, it's, I don't know if it's ever going to change. It's, it's a lot like Russell Westbrook, you know. They both those guys very talented out of OKC, and they just never could, um, you know, match the, the success they have in the regular season, the MVPs they have in the regular season, and translate that into the playoffs. And so, you know, I, I wasn't surprised when 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 he fell apart. In game seven and six, but um, you know, I was I was disappointed, and and you know, and you have to be critical because when you call a guy, you know, when he's been MVPs and the the you know the reputation that he has and the name that he has in the game, and then he comes up so short in big games, you know, you you have to be um, honest with your evaluation, right? I mean. The fact of the matter is, you know, the, the most important time to be good, right, and when players are judged is in the playoffs. You know, what's, what a guy does in the regular season, you know, it's important. It's important, but, um, it, you know, it's important, but really the success you have in the play, you have to back that up in the playoffs because that's that's the most important thing because the, the playoffs are the highest competition the league has to offer. And so against the highest competition – you want to see how good guys there are, and and how they play under pressure, under mental adversity, and James Harden over and over showed up small, and I think Embiid is starting to build that reputation too, although he might have had an injury, you know, he was playing through an injury, but, and I think there was a story about Doc Rivers having to let James Harden go to Vegas during the playoffs, so it just seems like James Harden's a very hard player to manage. Um, I think he's very hard to handle in the locker room. Um, so it's probably better that Philly moves on from him. And honestly, I think it's better that they move on from Doc too because he, his team just haven't met expectations. And the, my, my concern with letting Harden go is who do you replace him with, you know? And that's the big concern is I don't think they're going to replace him with anybody. And if they don't replace him with anybody, I just it's going to be hard for me to see them as contenders. You know, I like Tobias Harris. I like Maxi, I like P.J. Tucker. I like Embiid. But there's just, they're just missing a scorer. So... Um, yeah, it, it, it's it's very concerning for me f- for Philly, and I feel like this year was their best shot, especially since Boston doesn't look as strong as they were last year. I mean, they they have more talent, and offensively they're better. But you know, I they're already down one nothing to Miami, and Joe Mazzula, their coach. I don't I don't know what he's made of yet. I think I think Boston made a big mistake letting Ime Udoka go from a strictly basketball standpoint. Um, obviously, Ime Udoka is being hired again, so. I'm kind of, you know, I, I don't know what to make of that situation. How bad were the things he did if, you know, a year later teams are willing to, to hire him? Um, but, I mean, re- regardless, I feel Boston so far hasn't shown that defensively they're as good as they were last year. And and I think they miss Hume Doki as a coach. But, you know, Joe Mazzula, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how, you know, if they can come back against Miami. I think they will, and we'll see how they perform in the NBA Finals. You know, I, I, I have... I can't give my final verdict because he's a young coach. He's, you know, he's growing, and and Boston, you know, has shown a lot of resilience. So even though they've had some poor performances, they've always bounced back. So maybe they will again. And at the end of the day, you know, if, if Boston is NBA champions, um, nobody will will, will will criticize them for letting Ime Udoka go. You know, but I think Boston has a real chance to win the title, and. Um, you know, it would be a shame if, if they, they didn't do it, you know, because their coaching wasn't up to snuff, you know. But um, but that's why I felt like Philly had a chance because I felt a guy like Doc Rivers, when the two teams out there were pretty equally matched, I thought could take advantage of such a young coach. And, you know, he didn't do that. Um, you know, and I felt, he, you know, his he wasn't able to get his players mentally ready for game six. And, you know, in game seven, we saw what happened. So um, I think he has to be held accountable, and he has to be held accountable for the past two years. And I'm a big Doc Rivers fan, but, he, you know, he hasn't won a title since, you know, whenever, you know, Boston won their title with 
with Piers Garnett and, and Ray Allen that first year. So it's been a long time. So, um, and he's had many good teams, many good opportunities, and he's blown many 3-1 series. So all in all, I think, uh, yeah, it's going to be tough for Philly going forward. Um, but I think it was the right move for them to move on from Doc Rivers. And I just, and I also hope they won't hire Mike D'Antoni because I, I, I think that that wouldn't be a good move either. So, um, and that wouldn't look good. You know, it would not look good because it would almost be like, you know, you're putting in James Harden's coach, you know, and Daryl Morey being from Houston. I think it would be a bad look if uh, Mike D'Antoni was made head coach. It would send a, a wrong message to the rest of the team. Um, but yeah, if they don't keep James Harden, um, or and they they can't and they don't replace them adequately, yeah, it's going to be a concern for Philly. So we'll see how it all unfolds. All right, bye guys.